Hi, once again, I want to thank all my eBay viewers and anyone else for taking a look at these wonderful items that I have on sale on my eBay ID. Y as in yellow, Z as in the last letter of the alphabet, H as in hello, E as in echo, and P as in papa. Y Z H E P. You can find this Edge Star um, ice cream maker. It's the 1.6 core model. I think it's uh, I301SS. And um, this model here has, it looks almost as though it has never been used. Uh, it's been put away in its original box, which has a little bit of wear uh, to it. But the ice cream maker itself uh, looks extremely uh, clean and the pot inside, which I'll show you in a few minutes, it, it definitely uh, has not uh, been used, judged by my previous experience with automatic ice cream makers. Um, this one was given to me for consignment to sell, and the owner says that um, they don't think their daughter used it, it was stored, so I don't see really on the outside the stainless steel uh, looks really nice. So uh, I don't see any dent or scratches. So it looks really good. As you can see here, uh, also I'm going to download a video on YouTube from someone else who shows you how to use it, actually the manufacturer. It's got very good ratings on Amazon as well. They're no longer selling it, but uh, it has great ratings on Amazon. So I started this at 60, uh, 60 minutes an hour. And I, um, the timer button, he'll explain to you further how to use it on the YouTube video for the manufacturer. But I powered it on and uh, I pressed start and it started counting down. And every now and then it stops counting down if you look and it'll flash the temperature there. Well, that looks much better. The uh, red and green button, according to the YouTube video and the instructions, should be on. Now, let's see if I can just bring this here a little bit closer and you can see that the paddle is turning at a very nice speed so that's really nice it's got this feature here that you can take off and you can add right in here once the ice cream starts to solidify you can add chips and anything else that you want to add to the ice cream in the meantime we keep it covered all right so i'm going to stop it now so that you can get a view of the inside i haven't done this before but i think i could press here uh, it'll slowly stop itself again this is a first for me so maybe yeah okay so it goes back to 60 the unit is turned off I was told uh, here that you can press the timer and start uh, running it again in increments of five minutes but uh, for this video I'm not going to do that I want to show you what the inside looks like now this thing is powered on and just so you'll know, I'm going to remove this here, right there. That's live. These are li live. Where that uh, plug right here is live, and these things go into it. So you don't want to put any water. You want to keep that dry. Um, I'm going to unplug the unit because I feel a little uncomfortable. Give me a minute. I don't like working with anything live. All right, so there you go. It's unplugged. This here... Uh, has the directions you turn it to the right and you can see the inside of the unit look at the paddle nice and clean the inside looks like it has not been used oh it is cold oh. so you know it works and there's the inside of that wow that is cold guys so we know that is working so for all you ice cream lovers um, who, oh, you can see some of the condensation there where it's cold, who enjoy making their homemade ice cream, which I wish I had the room for this in my small condo. This unit is uh, at a good price and it's got great reviews on amazon.com and it's up here for you or up on my website and eBay, Y-Z-H-E-P, for you to bid on. Thanks for looking. Bye.